most watched, most trusted weather source. Here's your certified, most accurate first alert forecast. Over the next few hours, we stay quiet, but a little on the warm side. Could start to see 70s as we head towards 9, 10 o'clock, and we'll get another round of cloud cover like we had last night, but probably no showers. We did have a few showers between midnight and about 7 a.m. this morning, though they were very light and didn't really hang around very long. Through the overnight hours, we will start to see instability. The fuel for thunderstorms needed uh, to become severe move in. By 7.30, we've got some decent instability, and it continues to grow as storms move through. Now, even that first round of storms, even if it's some heavy rain and it lingers for a few hours. I think we're going to become unstable again and make it our best severe weather environment. Probably not for everyone, but there will be some spots, especially along the coast that we're going to have to watch closely, but everyone needs to monitor the first round and make sure that second round doesn't pop up overhead through the afternoon and evening by eight, nine o'clock. The severe threat should be on the way out and things should start to become quieter. Usually this time of year, we're talking about straight line damaging winds. We could see that tomorrow as well, but the tornado threat unusually high for this time of year, especially since we're not dealing with a tropical system. When you look at the heat on Sunday, that's about something we've seen a couple times already this year. So two for sure weather days, Thursday and Sunday, one for storms, one for heat. Right now we're under a level two risk for severe weather. Probably going to see a level three introduced unless something goes wrong with the forecast tonight. Several states away. More on that in just a second. So some high clouds drifting in, but most people going home as usual, just dealing with some Greenville traffic as we typically do. Temperatures continue to be a little breezy at times. Uh, eight in New Bern, 15 in Beaufort. They are down from the past few days, but Tomorrow should be another windy day to help bring in that humidity and instability for those storms to kind of feed off of. Temperatures at 88 in Kinston, 84 in Goldsboro, 89 in Rocky Mountain. A couple spots still at about 90. The humidity was better today. That's going to change tomorrow with these south southwest winds. That'll bring that humidity back. And that's why rain chances really start to get going pretty early, maybe as early as 8, 9 o'clock just west of us and then start to increase for us 10 a.m. to about lunchtime. So you would think this is the round of storms we'll be watching for tomorrow, but this is going to fill out really just giving us some cloud cover. What we're watching is back where this flash flood warning is. You can already see some storms developing in this area, kind of seeing the same thing we may see tomorrow. They already had a round of storms that were a little severe, but they're watching to see what can redevelop through the rest of the evening. And these storms look pretty powerful and notice how they just keep on coming and don't really ever kind of calm down. So as storms approach and even before 10 a.m., Charlotte, Asheville could see some severe weather. Nice line of storms pushing through wind, the main threat, but even could see a little bit of rotation on that leading edge. After that passes, we start to see these little small storms kind of pop up, and that's where we make it those supercells, which we typically don't get this type of year, but can produce wind, hail, and have a better chance of producing tornadoes than the kind of squall line that we may see earlier in the day. So 70% chance of storms on Thursday, down to a 20% chance on Friday. Heat not too bad Friday, but definitely worse Saturday into Sunday with just very, very low rain chances until another front early next week. And uh, tomorrow, another one of those situations where the storms are kind of just coming from uh, across the country to get right. here. And yeah. so if something happens and those storms get interrupted or they fizzle out a little bit quicker, that could impact our forecast tomorrow. So there's still a chance this mm -hmm. threat could be lower yeah. than what we kind of expect right that would, now. That would be nice. It would. All right. Thanks, Zach.